Hello friends, my name is Ajin Kevan and uh, Microsoft Python Certified Trainer. In the last video, we saw that how we can create a button and it's a property. So button is the, one of the most popular used widget to develop any Windows application. Also, we saw that how we can handle the event on button that is click event. So, in this uh, uh, video tutorial, uh, we will see that how we can close the window if user press on the button. For this application, I am using the software called PyCharm software. It is most commonly used software. So let's see how we can close the window when the user click on the button. Let's start the practical demo. First, we import a package called tkinter package from tkinter import star means any method, any class which are present in the tkinter, all the classes or methods are imported. Second one, we require a message to display a message to the user. So, from tk enter import import message box. These two packages will be required. The second step to create a window object. So, I am creating the window object and assign it tk class. After creating the window, we will create a function or a method to attach to the button. So in the Python, the function can be created by using the keyword that keyword and followed by the function name. That is, I am giving the function name as a exit window. This is my method name or this is my function name. So in this function, I am check or I am asking the question to user, do you want to exit the application? If the user press on the S button, then application will exit, otherwise the application will stay at same position. So how we can achieve this task? Let's see, I am creating a variable called msg message box this is a variable name and it gives a message box that is message box dot there is a one method of message box if you want to ask a question to the user there is a method called ask a question so first parameter it required the name of the message box that is i am giving the exit message box content i am writing the content like to you do you want to exit this is a message content and third parameter i am changing the icon as a warning so in this way we create a variable called message box and assign the message information to this variable now next step is to check if user press on the s button then application will destroy. So check the condition by using the if else condition that is if msg box contain a text yes if user click on the s button then the window will be exit. So in the python there is a method to close a window is that is called a destroy method. If user press on the S button, the window will destroy. Else, else, so message box dot show. There is another method show information, ask a question, show information, as no. These are the message types. So first parameter I will provide is the name on the message box second parameter what is the content of my message that is i am 
giving the content that is welcome to Python world. If user press on the no button, this message will be exit. So in this way, we create a function called exit window and attach this function to the button. So next step is how we can create a button. In the last video session, we saw that a button widget control and all its property. So if you confuse with this, you saw the my previous videos. So how we can create a button? Button can be created just first we create an object. So object name is a button one and button class. So it required. So this button will place on this window. So first parameter I am providing as a window. So name on the button that is a text property. I am giving the text as a exit. So next property change the background color of button. So I am changing the background color as a brown. FG that is a foreground color of a button that is called white. And the last parameter of a button that is called command property. So command property can be used to attach a method or function to button. So what is my the function name? That is a exit window. This is my function and remove this parenthesis. So last parameter, last property that is called font property and I am changing the font of a button. So I am changing the font Arial font size it's a 12 and font weight is a keyboard. So in this way the command property can be used to attach any method or any function to the button. So this is a button object. So place the button on the window by using a method called pack method. The pack method place any widget on the window. So last step to is a window dot make loop. This is our last step. So in this way, if you want to close a window by using a message, so this is a practically let's run our project. So run the project. So this is a window and this is a button. It shows exit. Okay. Whenever the user click on the exit button, it show a message called do you want to exit? If user press the S button, the window will be closed. Again run the application. If user click on the no button, it will display a message to me that is a welcome to Python world and the window will open. It show a remain constant. So in this way, you can handle a message box with a window or you can handle the click event when the user press on the button or there is a method called window dot destroy method to close or to exit a window that is a destroy method or you can use also use you can also use a window dot there is another method called quit method so both are the both working as a same so you can use a destroy method as well as fit method. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, mm -hmm. like, share and subscribe it. In the next video session, we will see our next widget that is called as a entry widget. So entry widget is the same as a text box. So how we can use entry widget and what are the properties of entry widget, we will see in the next video session. Thank you for watching this video.